It's your boy Bahamut. Start the video off right with the color coordinated blue and red. I know Shelter Dude. Y'all don't know, but Shelter Dude literally sleeps right next to me. Always follow me downtown. This is why. Uh, this is why I got to the point where I know. Like, oh look, another Shelter guy. I kid you not. Y'all don't have to believe me, but both of these dudes sleep in my same exact room, bro. This is why I don't fucking record no more or upload or fucking do anything because staying at this shelter where I'm at, they full on let me know that I'm being surveilled and harassed. What are the odds? And I know y'all don't know. Y'all don't have to believe me. Y'all can just think I'm crazy. What are the odds that both the dudes who sleep in my same room are always syncing up with me 24-7? And of course, they're wearing the colors, blue and red, all the fucking time, bro. Whenever I wake up, they're fucking there. I fucking leave. They're fucking right there. Like, they're like it just got out of hand. You know, especially if you know me in Pittsburgh, I'm just labeled big weird asshole guy, apparently. You know, I'm just the weirdest motherfucker that's around town. You know, look at the colors. That's always syncing up with me 24 fucking 7. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. This I just got to the point where I'm, I'm literally... It's not that I don't want to record, but as long as I'm in, in Pittsburgh, I understand that I'm being full blown on community fucking harass. So I decided to fucking record because there's literally a dude in a red car. I was walking up this street where I just came from and he's an old man, old man in a red car. I just happened to look to my left and he was holding a phone like and, and mind you, he just pulled up to the light and he was already holding the phone aiming it at me recording then i fucking made eye contact with him then he gonna hurry up and put his phone down and then look straight like he wasn't doing nothing like and y'all don't have to blame me but this shit is facts bro I, i'm being recorded surveilled stocked by people in the uh the shelter that's why I'm, I'm happy i'm almost up out of here you know i'm like it doesn't matter like i literally spent the last five days in a hotel like i wasted like four hundred dollars bro just because I got tired of fucking motherfucking synchronizing with me. And that the, the place I'm at, the fact that is, I don't even know how to put this in the words. But this whole shelter, this new shelter that I built, it, it, it's full of perps and agents. Everyone who's in my room, you can call me crazy, call me schizophrenic. But after witnessing shit like a hundred times, if I'm sitting in the house all day, these niggas sitting in the house all day. I leave, tell me why everybody who's in my room... I leave fucking these niggas a synchronizer with me through wherever I'm at. Like, how the fuck, bro? You, but if I'm in the house all day, these niggas in the house all day. Sleep, everyone who sleeps around me, fucking these niggas is in there. You know, and if you're a targeted individual, bro, fuck being homeless, bro. Get your shit together, bro. Don't, you know, even if you're struggling with money, because me, my, the problem with me is, is I don't care for money, bro. I'm not going to let a society, you know, mentally fuck with me because they feel like uh, money's everything. Like, bro, I get money when I, when, when I need to get it. But it's like, this shit don't make no fucking sense, bro, that you got the same people synchronizing with you 24 fucking 7. And, you know, I'm not even going to fucking call him out. I see every time I walk down this truck, I see him coming back and forth. You know, I'm literally being surveilled and stalked by a whole fucking city. There's no reason why if I leave a shelter to go stay at a hotel, why why is a motherfucker who's staying in the same room as me next door to me in the, in the fucking shelter or in the, the hotel after leaving? The, but meanwhile, they give off the thing that they're broke people. And then you start to realize... Man, half these people who sleeping in my room, bro, they're not... I feel like they're not even homeless, bro. They're not. You all, you popping up. You popping up always near me. You know, it don't matter where I go in the city. I'm seeing motherfuckers who I literally sleep in the same room with, bro. Sleep in the same... Pop up all around downtown. These are the same people calling me weird crazy strange at this point bro i don't give a fuck if you know me big ass laurel quiet motherfucker it is what the fuck it is bro i'm crazy i'm weird look another shelter motherfucker you know all every no, my whole path they know where the fuck i'm going they know where the fuck i'm gonna be at 24 fucking 7 
and the third motherfucking dude who sleeps in the same room as me, bro. Y'all don't have to blame me, man. Y'all don't have to blame me, but it is what the fuck it is. Y'all don't have to fucking believe me. See, and then you, you see these motherfuckers, and then they always fucking in that robot mode. Fucking phone out, ready for the target to fucking come in. Like, this shit's fucking annoying, bro. And this is actually where I was I was going to chill over here. But they, they know that shit. So they just do dumb shit, bro. That's why I'm talking to nobody. I'm tired of the stalking bullshit, bro. Like, get the fuck out of here. Nigga, another roommate, bro. Another roommate. Bro, I, I swear to God, bro. I'm, 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 my next video I'm going to upload, everyone who I showed y'all walking walking past me and I told y'all I was my roommate, I don't care if it gets me in trouble. I don't care if it gets me sued. And the dude said right there, I'm going to show you how all these dudes are in my room. But meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm fucking, I'm just randomly walking, talking, making a video. But these niggas is all in my path, bro. Looking down, doing dumb shit. Why is that? Why 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 do I have to see it? And it's like it wouldn't even trip if it was just like, you know, I wouldn't even be tripping if it was like uh, you know, you just seeing the same people throughout the communities. No, people who I go to sleep with, bro, in my same room, no homo. Fucking red blue. Why am I not surprised? My whole path, bro. Like, this shit is stupid. That's why I got to the point where I don't even want to upload. Because as long as I'm in Pittsburgh, PA, and I'm full-blown on harassed. Fuck that schizophrenia shit. Fuck that narcissism. Fuck me just being weird. It is what it is. Everyone's weird, bro. Everyone's fucking strange. But it's fucking how you fucking treat people is what fucking it shows your character. Motherfuckers want to say, oh, yeah, he just don't talk, so that's more than enough reason. To, to shit on him, talk shit, slander, harass, grammar. Like, no, bro. That, no, what, what that's called is, is the real villains projecting their fucking evil and hatred intent. The real fucking assholes. Stalking, say, surveilling, monitoring. That's what being an asshole is. Not the fucking guy, not bothering nobody who just want to be left alone. That's why I said this program is just bullying all over again. Bully just picking on the, the nerdy ass motherfucker that's coloring in this book, want to be left alone. But you got all these want to be jocks around you. Oh, look at it. Look at oh, Tommy by himself. <laughs> look at the guy sitting by himself. I'm like, yeah, we're the cool kids. Like, bro, if that's if that's if that's the case, then just why can't you motherfuckers leave me alone? Why do you have continues to surveil, stalk, and harass daily? Three, two, bro, and staying in the shelter, bro, is the worst experience ever, bro. And I purposely think this shelter that's built next to a courthouse, a courthouse, jail, and then a shelter, uh, all if fucking, no, it's all, uh, it's filled with informants and agents, all type of shit, bro. Even the staff members. Tell me why the rule is. Three, you going through, I did this just because, bro, because I know I got the money to dip out to another state, what I'm about to do. But tell me why I just wanted to run this test, bro, just to see. The rule is if you don't come in in three days, that's 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 a wrap, bro. Your bed's going, nigga. I just seen people the third day, these niggas already had niggas stuff kicked out and everything. Tell me why, nigga, I'm going since Thursday. Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, fucking Tuesday. I'm going six days. Come back. All my shit's still there. Nigga, staff ain't saying shit. No one's saying nothing. No one, oh, where you been? Like, oh, no, you're not supposed to be here. That's what, bro, that's why I know this. They were happy when I moved in here. Even me getting in here was pure coincidence. You know, it, it let me know. That nigga, this the city is fucking stalking her. And the same people that's calling me weird and crazy and strange and wanting to spread rumors is the same people surveilling, stalking, recording, fucking doing all this dumb weird shit, bro. So it's like this is why I got to the point where I no longer want to make videos about this shit because I know full on I'm being harassed by the city. You know, it's, it's bigger than just you know, it, it's not me. It's not just your normal fucking. 
you know, your normal just guy, just people hate. Nah, it's, nah, I'm being highly organized, highly fuck with. And I'll pay you $50 if you just walk through downtown picture with me and look out of looks you get just for, because you're sitting, chilling, talking with me. Because I happen to other people, every genuine person who I sat down, had a nice conversation, even the motherfuckers with me, like, yo, why is niggas doing like certain, why is, why, why is this nigga staring at you type shit? Like, bro, I, and it's like, it is what it is, bro. As long as I'm in Pittsburgh, I'm going to be getting called the weird, crazy motherfucker. Meanwhile, not doing nothing to nobody. But yet, everyone fucking harassing and stalking and saying, you know, doing all this dumb shit, bro. I'm just tired of it. But the, the main thing that's just getting on my nerves is how it's 24-7, bro. It will be 2 o'clock in the morning and then somebody will fucking slam down next to my bed, bro. And then just, and just be stuck standing there. Like, waiting for me to wake up to do some dumb shit, bro. If you're a targeted individual, stay away from shelters, bro. Because that's the time when they're really going to fuck with you. You know, and then at the same time, they're going to gaslight you. Because, you know, they know you're dealing with this shit literally 24 fucking 7. You know, they're going to gaslight you and slander you to other communities. To, to the point where you just, like, you just walk outside and you're just like, bro, I don't want to be near nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody. I want to do shit. You know? It's like, I'm just fucking tired of it, bro. Like, why is... I'm walking back. Why is everyone who sleeps in my room literally synchronizing with me? Everybody who sleeps in my room, bro, synchronizing with me. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. This shit don't make no fucking sense. Like, honestly, like, I'm just fucking tired of it. I'm tired of it. It's 24-7. And it's like, I'm gonna say it a hundred times. It's... The same motherfuckers calling you weird and creepy is the same motherfuckers harassing and stalking you every fucking day. And that's why I got to the point where I'm like, fuck them off, bro. Don't fucking, I'm tired of a little same head nod and shit. Like everybody, just so y'all can see, everybody always give me this constant same head nod shit. Ran, just everybody. Dude. Like, motherfuckers, you don't even know, bro. The same, you get the same treatment. You go across the town, bro. Niggas treating you the same exact way, bro. You go to a whole nother, whole nother area, whole nother city. Niggas doing the same exact shit. And you start to realize the weird, crazy, stupid motherfuckers is the people participating in on your harassment. They send the most stupidest assholes your way, bro. But but meanwhile, saying calling you whatever it is, doing your targeting, my targeting, I'm the asshole apparently. You know, the guy who just wants to, who's the, who's mentally tired and tired of dealing with petty fucking narcissistic dickheads, bro. I just got to the point where I just want to be left the fuck alone, and nigga still can't do that. Nigga, you you stay you stay in the crib to fucking to try to fucking stay away from people. Then they they got to the point where. Nigga, I'm trying to lay in my bed. I got that fucking cover over me, bro. I got my big ass coat over me, just trying to watch TV in peace. Nigga, hey, hey, bro, hey, bro, hey, bro, you, hey, bro, you seen this type of like, bro, like I'm, I'm over it, bro. And at this point, this is gonna be my last video I make in Pittsburgh until I move, because I, I'm tired of it, bro. There's no, there's no hiding, there's no denying it. At this point, I feel like everyone who watches me. On this fucking YouTube shit is all part of my harassment. A part of my harassment to how bad it is. For how bad my harassment is. Get like, bro. Nah, there, there's no denying it, bro. Nigga, the, the place that I'm in now. Until I get my place, I'm going to be surveyed and watched by fucking homeless people who don't do shit. But fucking meanwhile, these niggas popping up with new clothes, new new. New this, new that, always hit me with indirect subliminals. How about, oh, I got this new job, but meanwhile, how you got a job? And nigga, you here the same amount of days I'm here. Like, doing dumb shit. You know, notice the fucking dog walkers. Notice the speed walkers, your direction. You know, look at the colors, the blue, the fucking, the stupid fucking colors, bro. The dog walkers, the three subliminal. And it's like, you just get to the point where you notice all their attacks. You notice all their fucking theatrical skits. It just gets annoying, man. But this video is like 15 minutes, bro. And like I said, this is going to be my last one I upload until y'all see me in my new location. But as far as I'm in here, I'm going to be doing the same thing. 
not talking to nobody in Pittsburgh, still being me, bro, not bothering nobody at the end of the day. But this is just what it's going to be. But this is Bahamut, man. As y'all can see, I'm up out of here. Oh, hey, hey. Nice dog. But the people, not nice. But this Bahamut, man, I'm out of here.